Thank you for joining me today. My name is Carly, and I'm gonna guide you through a few stretches for our neck, our chest, our back, and our arms. You can join me seated on the floor, or if you'd like to stay seated in a chair, you can follow along that way also. Let's take a few moments wherever you are to just roll the shoulders a little bit. Begin to bring some awareness to your breath. Just notice your inhale, notice your exhale. And then let's change direction of our shoulder rolls. Just take them up and around the other direction. Try to relax the shoulders, unclench your teeth, and just breathe. And then we're gonna take our shoulders up towards our ears, take them back a little bit, just release those shoulders down away from our ears. You can sit however you like, again, whether you're in a chair or on the ground, if you're on the ground and you're crisscrossed, that's just fine too. So relax your hands on your lap, and we're gonna allow that left ear just to relax down towards our left shoulder. Relaxing the shoulders down. You may have your eyes open or closed. But just bring some awareness into your breath. Relax the shoulders, unclench your teeth. And then just pause here for a moment as you breathe. Good. And then when you're ready, gently, we'll just slowly bring the neck and the head back to center. And then we're going to allow that right ear to go down towards our right shoulder. Once again, relaxing the shoulders, unclenching our teeth, and maybe even noticing some differences in the left and right side of our body and our neck. Knowing we don't need to force anything throughout this practice here today. And then when you're ready, gently, we'll just let the neck and the head flow back to center. And then we're going to allow our chin just to relax down towards our throat. So tall posture if you can, relax the shoulders down. Just allow the chin just to relax down towards your throat. Noticing how the back of the neck feels, maybe even the upper part of our back. And again, just breathe in here. If anything hurts, I want you to back off of it a little bit. And then slowly, we'll allow the neck and the head, once again, just to flow back to center. And then gently just reach your chin up towards the sky. Just tip the head back to where you feel comfortable. If it feels like you've gone too far, then perhaps you have. Then bring that chin more forward a little bit. So just the idea here is to open up the front of the throat. Really even kind of lift up through the center of the chest. And then once again, when you're ready for a breath in, just slowly bring the neck and the head, just float it back to center. Good. Let's go ahead and look gently over that right shoulder. Once again, reminder to relax the shoulders down, unclench your teeth, soften the skin across your forehead, and just breathe here. When you're ready, gently let the neck and the head just rotate back to center. And then we're going to look over that left shoulder. So again, relax the shoulders down. Having a tall yet comfortable posture. Relaxing the arms, relaxing your hands wherever they are. And just breathing right here. Very gently, we'll rotate that head back to center. Good. Take a moment to roll those shoulders up, back and down just a couple times. Good. Once again, relax the shoulders down. We're going to take a variation of those same stretches again. So as I add on, you know you can repeat what we just did, or you can follow along with me here. We're going to take our right hand and just bring it behind your back. Just let it rest there. Some of you may just kind of rest more by the hip. Others may be able to reach it all the way kind of around to your side, and maybe you hold on to that left arm. Wherever you're at is fine. Maybe you can take your left hand and grab a hold of that right hand, and then we'll allow that left ear once it again to go down towards our left shoulder. Relax the left and right shoulder down, and just pause here as you breathe. Wherever that right arm, wherever you're bringing it is just fine. No forcing, no need to be in any pain. This is just another way to 
emphasize that stretch a little bit more on that right side of our neck, upper part of our shoulder. And again, just pausing here as you breathe. Good. Listening to your body is important. Let's slowly allow the neck and the head just to float back to center. Release that right arm down. Roll that shoulder a moment. Relax that shoulder down. Now we take that left arm and just bring it behind your back. So depending on how your shoulders feel, this might be just a nice little stretch for the front of that left shoulder. Bringing that left arm wherever it feels okay on your back. Maybe taking that right hand, clasping hold of that left hand, bringing it there a little more. Relax the shoulders down. And then our right ear goes toward, down towards our right shoulder. So again, as you're here, just relax the shoulders down the best you can. I want you just to breathe, unclench your teeth, soften the skin across your forehead, and just be present right here in this moment, listening to what the left side of your neck, across that shoulder, how is it talking to you? How is it feeling? Another moment just to be here. And then when you're ready, gently, We'll allow the neck and the head, once again, just to float back to center. Release that left arm. Roll through that left shoulder just a couple times. Good, relax the shoulders down. Now hands can stay on our lap. Shin can release down towards the throat. You can also take your hands, clasp your hands, bring them to the back of your head, bring your elbows in. And just think of this as allowing gravity to help a little bit more. So we're not pulling on the neck and the head. We're just allowing our chin to relax down towards our throat, having the hands on the back of the head, just gently resting them there. Of course, that's a little more weight. So it may deepen that stretch, but if it feels like it's too much, just release your hands back down to your sides or down towards your lap. Relaxing the shoulders. And just pause and here as you breathe. And then we'll gently release our hands back down towards our lap. As you inhale at the neck and the head, float back to center. And then once again, we're just gonna reach our chin up towards the sky. Let your hands either touch the ground by your sides if you're there, or if you're on a chair, maybe let your hands just kind of reach down the side of the legs of the chair. Lengthen the arms, reach your chin up. Create some space between your chin and your collarbone and your collarbone and your heart your heart and your belly button and your belly button and your pubic bone or your tailbone. Just pause in here for a moment as you breathe. And then slowly once again, as you inhale, let the neck and the head just float back to center. Good, soften the body here a moment. Maybe even roll or shrug those shoulders a couple times. We're gonna add a little bit of a torso twist with a neck, a little bit of a neck twist. So let's bring our right hand behind us. Again, or if you're on your chair, just kind of hold on to that chair. Left hand finds that right leg, twisting the torso, then turn and look over that right shoulder. So as you're here, if the twist in the torso does not feel okay in your body, come out of that twist and then just look over that right shoulder. So wherever you're at is just fine. Relax the shoulders down, tall torso, breathing here. So enjoying potentially this twist in the torso, enjoying that stretch in the neck. Now if you're twisted through your torso, keep that twist and just turn and look forward. So as if you're looking over, give you that left shoulder a little bit and breathe here. And now gently just unwind the torso, unwind the torso. Good, roll those shoulders up, down and back once again. And now we'll take that left hand either behind you or holding onto that chair. Right hand finds that left leg. Sitting tall, then we twist through our torso. And if it feels okay, turn and look over your left shoulder. And check out how your body feels on this side. If the torso twist, again, does not feel okay, come out of the twist and just look over that left shoulder. So again, wherever you're at here today is just fine. Each side of our body is a little different. Each day may feel a little different in our body also. Soften the shoulders down. Just pausing here for another moment. 
We're gonna keep this torso twist. Just slowly unwind the neck and the head, maybe looking forward or maybe even over that right shoulder just a little bit. And then slowly we'll unwind our torso all the way back to center. And let's take a moment again, roll those shoulders up, back and down. Let's reach our arms off to the sides. We'll reach those arms up. Clasp your hands together, flip your palms on up. So lengthen the side body, lengthen the arms, lengthen the sides of our torso. And then we'll bring those arms in front of us. Press those palms forward, and then I want you to round through your back. Pull your belly and tuck your chin in, maybe down towards your throat. Tuck your tailbone in a little bit if this feels okay. Shoulders, bring them down away from your ears. So creating some space between your shoulder blades, rounding your back here, and allowing again the chin maybe to relax down towards the throat, or go ahead and continue to look forward. Let's slowly reach those arms back up towards the sky. We'll bring those arms back down. Now, if you're like me sitting crisscross on the ground, maybe you just take that other leg in front just to readjust that again a moment there. Good. Our left hand is gonna stay on the ground, or if you're on a chair, just let your left hand touch the side of the chair. Right arm is gonna reach up, and then let's take a side body stretch, reaching over to the left side. Good. Now, you may stay here keeping that armpit kind of open forward. Or you may round that armpit forward, round through the back, kind of dropping that armpit forward. Whatever feels best for the body. So if you want to round forward, you can. You want to keep it open, you can. It might just feel a little different in your body. So find the spot that feels okay for you today. And just pause there as you breathe. Continue to breathe. Being present right here in this moment. Now when you're ready, gently, we'll reach that right arm back up. Let that right hand come down to the ground or the side of your chair. Let's take that left arm, reach that left arm up and reach across the upper part of our body. Good. Reaching over towards that right side. So again, you may keep this armpit here kind of open forward or you may round it forward. And just breathe wherever you are listening to how your body's feeling on this left side. We're creating some space between our left rib cage and that left hip. Stretching out the muscles on the left side of our body, our arm, our back, throughout our belly, our torso. Another moment again, just to be right here. And then when you're ready, gently, we'll reach that left arm back up. We'll bring that left arm down. And we're gonna bring our hands to our lower back. So you may be able to clasp your hands behind your back. You might just rest your hands on your lower back. You don't need to move your body, but I'm gonna move my side body in a moment. Maybe your hands are not able to clasp, or maybe that chair is there behind you. Just reach your arms behind you. Whether they clasp or not is fine. Just reach those arms behind you, creating some space across the collarbone, across the chest. So again, just pause in here as you breathe. Relax the shoulders down. Again, reaching those arms back, stretching out the front of the chest, front of the shoulders. Again, this is not a no pain, no gain. If you feel any pain, you just back off a little bit. You soften that stretch. Bring those arms closer towards your body. Another moment again, just to be right here. And then very gently, we'll release our hands down to our back. Roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Good. Let's take that right arm. Reach that right arm up. Let your right hand touch your back. Like you're giving yourself a pat on the back. Left arm's going to go behind you. And you may reach those hands towards each other. Again, you don't have to move your body, but I'm going to move to show you my back for a moment. Your hands may touch. They may be nowhere near touching. Wherever you're at is just fine. Letting that right palm touch your back. Left arm is kind of tucking behind you. So depending on your shoulders, if you really tighten that left shoulder, I don't need to tell you that you feel that. Just pausing here for a moment as you breathe wherever you are again is just fine. And then very gently, we're just gonna release that down. Feels good sometimes just to kind of move through the shoulders. We'll take that on the other side. So left arm, reach it up. Let that left hand touch your back. 
right hand goes behind you, and you reach those hands towards each other. So you may find one side your hands can touch or a lot closer than the other side. It just means that one shoulder is tighter than the other shoulder. And breathe here. And I did not mention this on the first side, but if you had a yoga strap or a scarf or a belt or something, you could hold it in your left hand, drape it down, and then your right hand could grab a hold of it. And that gives you a little bit more leverage there. So again, just pausing here as you breathe, sitting tall wherever you're at. And then gently here, we're gonna release our arms down. Get a little bit of a shoulder kind of movement through those shoulders a little bit. And then we're gonna take those arms out to the sides. We're gonna bring them in front of us. Right arm is gonna be below, left elbow touches the right elbow. Now your hands might touch your shoulders here. You might have forearms touching. Your left hand might wrap around and find that right palm. Wherever you're at is just fine. We're gonna move through our shoulders, move through our elbows. So our hips are not moving. We're speaking one direction, because we'll change direction in a moment. So if you're giving yourself a little bit of a hug, and then we're gonna change direction of those shoulder rolls. Moving through the upper part of our body, stretching the upper part of our back, space between our shoulder blades. Just breathe in here. And then we'll find just a little bit of stillness. Just pause here for a moment. Go ahead and release your arms on down. We'll take those arms back out to the sides. We'll bring them in front of us. This time that left arm is on the bottom. We'll bend the elbows, and again, hands might touch your shoulders. You might have long forearms. Right hand might wrap around, find that left palm. I'm gonna keep my hands on my shoulders, wherever you're at, again, to see where it feels okay. And then just begin to move through the upper part of our body. Good, good. Think slow and controlled, slower, bigger motions. And listening to what our shoulders and our back, are communicating to us right now. And then let's change direction. So just bring those movement, bring that movement the other way. Good, good. Another couple rotations here this way. And then we'll find a little bit of stillness in the arms. Release those arms on down. Good. One more time, we'll do that same repeat stretch where we bring our hands behind us any way you can and just reach those arms back. Now again, you can stay right here or if it feels okay, maybe you bend the elbows, think of like a cactus or goalpost arms, and then squeeze those elbows back towards each other. So whichever one feels better for you. Just take a moment to be there, to open the chest, bring some space across the collarbone, and then gently, wherever you are, just release your arms on down. Good. Roll those shoulders a couple more times. Take those shoulders the other direction. And then we're gonna take one more stretch here. So again, if you're seated crisscross like I am, you're just gonna walk those hands forward. If you're seated on a chair, you can do the same stretch two times, or if it feels okay, you'll take your right leg and just cross it over that left leg. So you'll be seated in a chair with your legs crossed, and then just walk your hands down that leg, okay? So whichever leg is in front is just fine. Just remember which leg is in front. Relax the neck and the head down. Now as you're releasing down here, yes, this is also a stretch for the hip, whichever leg is in front. But I want you to really reach those arms forward, lengthen through the fingers. Reach through the arms, relax the neck and the head down. And just pause right there for a couple breaths. Just kind of notice how your body feels. So again, if you're seated in the chair doing this, just walking those hands down the legs with that leg crossed. And then when you're ready, gently walk those arms back towards your body. You can round through your back. Roll those shoulders up back and down. And then we're gonna take that other leg in front. So again, if you're on the ground seated crisscross, just bring that left leg in front. If you're seated and it feels okay, just cross your left leg over your right leg like you're seated in a chair. And then you're gonna walk your hands forward or down that right leg if you're seated in the chair. 
So everyone's body is different as to where they can go. Each hip is different, so you might feel this a little bit more in your hips than in your back. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just your body's talking to you, telling you where you might be a little bit tight today. Relax the neck and the head. If it feels okay, maybe you reach those arms a little bit further. You can do that even with the torso that's upright. Spread your fingers. Lengthen the muscles running all the way down your back. All the way down your spine. And then when you're ready, gently, you're going to walk those hands back towards your body. You're going to round through your back. Torso lifted again, shoulders up, back and down your spine. And that is it. I want to thank you for joining me today. And feel free to repeat those stretches again. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.